look at that. Today I'm making coconut lemongrass braised short ribs. I absolutely love Thai food. They have so many beautiful aromatics that just are simple to use but infuse a ton of flavor. This dish is so comforting. And the best part about this recipe is that you could make this in advance. If you have a big party or you have people coming over tomorrow, I highly recommend making it this evening and then you let that sit in the fridge and all of the flavors are gonna just deepen and it's gonna taste even better the next day. I'm using white onions. We're gonna do a fine chop. You don't have to be too precious about this size. <laughs> Ines, can we please get some onion goggles? No, not right now. I mean, like, you can you order them? <laughs> Lots of garlic. All my recipes call for six or more cloves, always. I like grating my aromatics, like ginger and garlic, because once it cooks, this all is gonna just really melt into the sauce. Next, I am going to do the ginger. I like adding ginger because it is pungent, but it adds a nice warm spice to the dish. Now I'm gonna do the lemongrass. Lemongrass is so citrusy and fresh. It's very unique. I'm gonna cut off the top and then I'm gonna take the back of my knife and just bruise the bulb. Bruising the bulb of the lemongrass is going to kind of open up the bulb like that and then like release all of those oils and flavors easily into the sauce. And I'm gonna add macroed lime leaves. They're amazing. It's like if you took a lime and just like intensified it like 30 times. And now, my favorite ingredient. I cannot live without chilies. <laughs> I would compare one Thai chili to like two Serrano peppers. They are quite spicy. And don't discard the seeds cause that's where all the heat is. Done. Let's go to the stove. Look at this beautiful tray of short ribs. There is such a good amount of marbling on this. There is quite a bit of fat which is perfect for searing these and because there is so much fat on this you're not even going to need to put oil in your pot you can directly place them in there and then all of the fat is going to render off and you're going to get like a beautiful crust on each side and one very important thing please remember to season your short ribs right we're getting somewhere you can see that now in the pot there is a good amount of like fat starting to render off and release and we're going to use the same thing to saute the aromatics. That's exactly what I'm looking for. It's super golden, it has like a crust on it. Fat is literally dripping from the short ribs. That means it's ready and we can transfer it to a plate. These are not cooked. They will go back in the pot once we've made the sauce and that's when like the actual cooking of the short ribs is going to happen. I'm turning down the heat. The first thing I'm gonna add are the onions, garlic, and the ginger. I'm gonna stir around the onions really quickly so all of them are coated in the leftover fat. And now I'm adding the lemongrass stalks right in here. Stir that around. And if you feel like the pot is a little bit dry, go ahead and drizzle a little oil to kind of get things going. I put on the lid here because I want to sweat the onions because we're not using as much fat at this point so the steam is really going to soften those aromatics as opposed to fat. I'm going to know when the onions are done, when the edges get like slightly brown. So I'm adding some light brown sugar and that's going to add some sweetness. It's also going to help the onions caramelize a little bit more. And now I'm adding some turmeric powder. I love turmeric because it adds that like beautiful golden yellow color. In terms of flavor, it is also like herbaceous, just like mildly peppery. And I'm gonna add my Thai chilies. 
and some macroot lime leaves. I'm just crushing them to kind of release some of the oils and then sprinkle them in here. And you have this like beautiful kind of clumpy, chunky paste. Here I have fish sauce. I only seasoned my ribs a little bit earlier, but this is what's going to add that like funkiness, saltiness, tons of umami to this recipe. So I'm gonna use that to deglaze the pan and scrape all of those brown bits from the bottom because that is flavor. And now I'm gonna add full fat coconut milk because that's what's going to just like thicken up and make that really luscious sauce. I'm adding a little bit of water because this reduces a fair bit. I really don't want my ribs kind of sticking to the bottom of the pot. And the short ribs are ready to go in. Put any juices that you have on the plate back in the pan. You can tell it's ready to go in the oven because I can see all of these little bubbles on the side. I'm going to let this cook in the oven for about three hours until the short rib is just like falling off the bone and the meat is super tender and the sauce has reduced. It's been 77 years and now the short ribs are ready. Just kidding, it's been three hours. Our short ribs have been in the oven and I think they're ready. Moment of truth. Ooh. I see the little bubbles. I see that the sauce has reduced and that's exactly what you want. First things first, I'm gonna spoon out all of the lemongrass that we don't need anymore. It has completely broken down. So I know that all of the lemongrass flavor has definitely infused. Look, the meat has slid right off the bone and that means that the ribs are definitely done. I'm finishing off this recipe with some lime juice. It's gonna cut through all of that fatty short ribs. It's going to balance out all of the flavors. Mm. I don't think I need to add any more salt to that. The fish sauce really brings that like saltiness to it. Just a little more Thai chilies, fresh cilantro. Go right ahead and garnish. And now it's time to plate. I have a little bit of cooked rice. So I want like a nice little piece there and then some sauce. Just a little bit of cilantro. My favorite ingredient, <laughs> some red chili. Another slice of lime in case you need it. There you have it. Coconut lemongrass braised short ribs. Zainab, Kendra, do you want to try this? Yes. Wait, I'm nervous. Why? I'm nervous. Because no, when my coworkers taste my food, that's when I'm most nervous. It's so good. It's like a 10 out of 10. Ooh! That's my favorite texture, I think, of meat, is shreddy. Yeah. Mm. Yes, I agree, actually. It's not too spicy. No. Very mild. Very mild, yeah. But like, the right amount of warmth. You're a genius, you know this. We love it. This is rude, the fact <laughs> that all three of us are eating from this. I really love this recipe because it kind of touches on so many flavor profiles that I love. It is creamy, it has umami, it's a little savory, it's so comforting. I cannot wait to make it again. Oh, sorry. I was like... <laughs> Please, oh my gosh. I this is the angle. <laughs> 